Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? Got a few few more people coming in. We'll wait a minute or two. It's still early. Still still one minute to go. Hey Chelsea. Good morning. Yeah. Did you see what this workout is today yet or? Yeah, so a bit of fun, it's a bit of a mixed bag. So a little bit of everything. Um, so there's gonna be some stuff to help you with your handstands. I'm just gonna pause it for now so it's not recording me for ages. Okay, so for today's workout, a few bits. So um, the first bit, I don't know if you can read that, I have made it small to fit on the page, is handstand assistance. So you're first gonna be going through and doing 12 shoulder pulses in a pike. Yeah, so that is actually what I will need my box for, or a sofa. So shoulder pulses, essentially just going from that active shoulder, relaxing, active, passive, active again, ultimately in the handstand position. So if we are on those pikes, you can just be on your knees. Arms gonna be locked out. Let's so see if I am there. In my pike position, okay, just relaxing your shoulders and then pressing up, relax, press up, you can and stack that shoulder joint more possibly by going on your toes and then same thing again, just relaxing, pushing up nice and tall, relaxing, pushing up tall. So that's the first movement. The next piece is going to be a pseudo planche lean. So for that one, I'll just be, I'll angle the camera down a little bit. Okay, is going to be just over there. Normal push up, and then I'm trying to get as far forward as I can, using my fingers to really press, keep my balance, driving far forward for that 30 seconds. Okay, once you've done that 30 seconds, the next movement is a frog hold lower. Okay, so if I'm in a frog hold, all it will be, I'll be in my headstand. You could use an ab mat or a towel. You're gonna to be upside down on your head. I'll probably use an ab mat. It makes it actually a little tougher though. But then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my weight over, tuck my knees in, and then my goal is to lower, but get my knees down, control it before my toes. So you're staying really compressed through the midline and then slowly up and down up to five times. Okay, really hard, a lot of compression going on there. You're also trying to think about getting your weight back over the shoulders for those lowers. The next piece is gonna be a T-spine raise. I've got a baggy shirt on, I'll explain this one because you can't see it too well. But you can also use a PVC with the arm tops a bit as well. So just curve a little bit. So in that T-spine raise, arms are up, I'm gonna get my feet together, quads down, and I want to be thinking of doing is pushing your chest firmly into the ground, squeezing your butt so your back flattens out in that position. Once you're there, head down as well, and then lifting up the arms, shoulders, holding that position about 20 seconds or so. So you're going for that one. Well, I, I said, yeah, 25 seconds. So that is so, and that's the first piece. So we've got to go through that about three rounds, okay? So if you've got any sort of kit equipment um, for your heads, mainly for the, basically for the frog hold lowers, we've got to give that a go. And that frog hold as well, remember we're getting that nice tripod shape, okay? So if you've got a box, anything, anywhere, you're gonna go through 12 of those pulses on the pike in a second in that pike handstand position. I'm gonna have a timer running. I think I've got the right setting. Yeah, okay. So you're getting a little something ready for your heads. So I'm gonna watch everyone through the first round. So if you wanna go through now and hit those shoulder pulses on a pike, okay, so it can be a little chair, say nice and compressed, the ledge nice, Daryl. 
Kind of missing Chelsea there, but I can see. I can kind of get an idea. And going through. Let's see that, Jen. That's it. And then pressing through. Nice one. Staying as compressed as possible. You're trying to get right over that shoulder joint, keeping the head through the arms. Okay, so the whole time, as you pike off, as you relax the head, you're trying to keep between the arms. That's better, Jen. Nice work. 12 nice slow reps. That's it, Daryl. I'll demo, I'll go through the second round just for people at home watching as well. Okay, so once you've done that, those 12 reps, you're gonna go through now. I'll count everyone into that pseudo planche lean. Nice, Brian. Whoa, lucky the sofa's there, Jen. Okay, <laughs> had a little wobble at home. It's all good. Okay, so you're gonna go through in three seconds that pseudo planche at the top of your push up. Okay, that's it. Camera's going to be a little bit lower today because we're down low on the floor for most of the stuff. So in three, two, one, you're in that push-up position. You're starting shifting your weight forward. This really compresses the wrists up. Think straight elbows there, Chelsea. So lock the elbows out straight as you can. Think about squeezing the elbows together. Yes, splaying those fingers. About 30 seconds. You've already been there for about five, I'm going to say 10 seconds now. So I have got my timer running in the background to see in case I'm not lying. Okay. So another 10 seconds. See if you can shift that weight a little further forwards. Okay, keeping the glutes tight, putting that midline up a little bit higher there, Lindsay. That's it in two, one, and rest. Okay, so now we get to that interesting one, the frog hold. Do you want to see that again one more time, anyone at home? Or Yep, I'll go through one more time. I'm just going to get my... Clear some room out around if you need it. So I'm just going to have a top view. Better be closer to the ground on the ab map. And I've got my tripod position. So my head stands. Forearms are vertical. I'm going to drag my feet in. I can be knees tucked in, lifting up. Okay, controlling. Now I'm going to let my knees down. Stay nice and tight. So pull the knees to the chest. Keep my weight really far over. And then as I lift down, I keep pushing through the hands. Tap, and then back up again, controlling it down. Control it down. Tapping down, staying as compressed as possible. It's a tough movement, okay? So you're just trying to be basically go as slow as you can. Don't worry if you can't get your toes um, to hit last. Just focus on nice and slow. Nice, Daryl, I like the commitment. Just get more of a tripod there, mate. So head further forward, yeah? So you can press through the hands. Nice, Chelsea. Just tuck your chin in there. So tuck the chin in, yeah? Tuck the chin in when you hold. That's it, shift your weight further with Chelsea on, with your feet. Shift your weight further over towards the pillow, yeah? So you can go further over, further over. Tuck in really tight. So don't take your feet up the floor yet. I'm just talking to Chelsea. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now take your feet off if you can, pull up. Oh, that's it. This is just practice, yeah? So it might be that lower. It might be practicing to get the headstand. Nice friend. Lindsay's frozen, so it looks like she's, she's stuck in her frog hold. Okay. Nice, Daryl. So if it feels like you're pulling down, it's like trying to get those hips over your head. It can be frustrating as hell. Okay, so same thing there, Jen, is trying to get the hips over the head. Give it about two more seconds. We've lost Lindsay. I'll get her back in a sec. Nice, Jen. Nice. That's good, Jen. Yeah, that's good. It's just about getting to spend a little bit of time there. Okay. Once you're going through, we're going to be hitting now that T-spine raise. I'm going to cue you all through. So you're lying flat on the floor. Yeah. So lying flat down. We're first going to engage your quads. So push your toes into the ground. Squeeze your butt, 
feet together, heels together, yeah? So you're really squeezing through the glutes, driving the quads down, so butt's tight. Now you're gonna push your chest into the ground. Don't lift your arms up just yet. Wait for my cue, Daryl, okay? And then, pushing your chest into the floor, you're now gonna draw your stomach off the floor. So drawing your stomach off the floor. Okay, now from there, now lift the arms up. Keep the chest down, keep the butt tight, abs in, and you're holding, okay? It's a 25 second hold, really squeezing through the shoulders. Keep the glutes on, keep the chest down. That's the main thing in this hold. We work in your midline as hard as you can, okay? Going through that, you've been there now for 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Nice, Lindsay's back in the room. Two, one, and resting. Okay, so we're gonna start from round one. You're gonna go, go back into those pulses, going through again. Same thing, staying as compressed as you can. Why we do things like the pike as well, I'll sit, so that working with that compression to hold positions. Nice one, Dallas goes, Looks like his daughter with him. Okay, going through and doing those pike compressions. Just so staying tight as you can, keeping the head through the elbow or through the shoulders, through the arms. Yep. How much movement can you get through that shoulder, arms are locked? Think about squeezing the elbows together. Okay, staying nice and tight. Just 12 repetitions, kind of in your own time. Ah. Six. Nice guys. Okay, now you're going into that planche lean. So once you've done that, that planche lean, see if you can get that really strong top of the push up position. So you're going to be thinking butt tight, yeah, belly tight. So get the glutes on so you can get the abs on. You okay there, Chels? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So getting the weight forward. 30 seconds. We'll go together. We'll go in a group. So in three, two, Chelsea started. One. Go now. Yeah. Glutes. Ready. Pressing through. You can protract the shoulders as long as you think about keeping them depressed as well. So depressed as you should have lots of room around your neck. Okay. Are you pushing up? Okay, keep going, people. We've got 10 more seconds. Stay nice and tight. Keep the hips up as well. Glutes on, abs in. Shifting that weight further forward if you can. That gen in two, one, and done. Good work. That's going to get your push up stronger as well. Okay, back onto those headstands or frog hold lowers. So, how slow can you go? Can you get in the headstand? Can you get the hips? Yeah, over. Basically, the head and the shoulders. That's the key thing for those hips. Getting that weight in the right direction. Make sure you've got room to roll. Yeah, that's it, Daryl. Got you guys rolling onto each other. Okay. So going through into those frog hold lowers now. You should only need that like one pillow-ish. Otherwise, you can make that lower really tough. And then slow, slow, slow down. Keep it tucked. Nice, Lindsay. So you think knees touch the floor, and then up again for about five. <laughs> nice guys. Give it one more shot there, Chelsea and Jen as well. So getting their weight over, over, over. Nearly, Jen. You're just about in the right position. Oh, just frozen, Chelsea. <laughs> Okay, in three, two, one. We're going to go into that T-spine. Okay, so that T-spine lifts. I'll cue you all through it. Okay, so going through. I'm going to cue all the cues through, okay? So getting nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to say feet together. Okay, now squeezing your quads into the ground, yeah? But tight now, so glutes engaged, yeah. Push your chest out into the floor. As you do that, pull your stomach off the floor. So you're bracing through the abs now. Back's nice and flat. Okay, now I want you lifting the arms up nice and straight, squeeze through the shoulders. 
Okay, keep pushing those quads down, chest down, abs tight. Okay, it's gonna be a 25 second hold. So you've got 20 seconds left. So 15, keep the legs nice and tight. Keep squeezing your glutes. 10 seconds, glutes staying on, chest staying down, stomach staying drawn in for five, for four, keep working that position and rest. Okay, we gonna do that all one more time. So final round, okay? Final round before we do the push-ups or the handstand push-ups. So shoulder pulses again. And what you can do on those shoulder pulses is try and get in a tighter pike position. So if you're battling with that frog hold lower, is get in a really tight compression. Think about getting the head as close to the bench or ledge as you can, okay? And keeping the head between the shoulders when we do that, between the arms. So people are going through with that pike 12 times. Okay, already lock those arms out there, Jen. That's it. It's like, how much move can you get? If you're battling to move, think about the hands, they should be pointed out slightly. Okay, nice work. Okay, nice. Coming down from those pikes. So we're gonna go to that pseudo planche. So that's shifting your weight as far forward as possible. Carlos did join us briefly. It was quite late though, so I think he wondered what was going on. Um, so you're going into now is that pseudo planche lean, shifting your weight as far forward as possible. So in three, two, one, we'll start it together. So remember, same thing here, glutes on as well. Can you get further forward? That's it, nice, Jenna, keeping that weight forward. Nice, Chelsea, good, you got it. Elbow a bit, yeah. Keep going, people, 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, well done. You're gonna go through now, okay, into those headstand attempts, final one, or frog hold lower, okay? So it's the same thing, remember, if you're kicking up and you're like, ah, oh, I'm, you know, keep falling down, try to go a little bit further, make sure that chair's not behind you so you don't roll into it, don't want any, any accidents, okay? Give yourself plenty of room, so you're going five attempts now with those frog hold lowers, okay? If you're going through before, maybe a bit more warmed up, you can be a bit, a little bit softer. <laughs> so shift, shift, shift. So keep your feet on the floor longer, Chelsea, and walk over a little bit more. So it might feel like you might roll over backwards. So it's the same thing there, Jen. You've got to keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And then when you feel like you're about to nearly topple over, try and lift your feet up. Better, yeah. And driving through the hands. So we'll have about 10 more seconds on this. So if you've got one more attempt or so. Whoa. I like it, Jen. Okay. Going through last step. Wee, Daryl's daughter going for it as well. Okay, awesome guys. Okay, so last one is that T-spine low, just between the shoulder blades, working your abs, working the midline. Last little piece, 25 second hold. Three, two, one. We're going for that now, yeah? And I will say, if you have got your mics on, just turn them off for this little piece as well, um, coming up afterwards. I will mute some people. Okay, so the timer has started. So make sure you've got your quads tight, feet together. Okay, <laughs> butt tight, chest pushed down and drawing in through the abs. Okay, so keeping that tension. You've only got about 10 seconds left. So keep working, keep the chest down. 
Last five seconds. Glutes on, heels together as well. So we can get everything switched on in two, one, and rest. Okay, good one. Because this day is quite technical, I'm gonna watch a little bit with the Metcon strength focus. So that's gonna be the handstand push-ups now, or push-ups, or pike push-ups. Okay, so you gotta do a max unbroken set. So you can't rest just your max unbroken set and remember that number, okay? So we'll go in about just over a minute of either push-ups, handstand push-ups, pike push-ups, okay? Any scale that's gonna suit you, that's gonna challenge you, okay? That's what you're gonna go for in this next little piece. So it might also just be determined as well, not just by ability, but also what you've got available at home. So with those, those shoulder pulses in the pike, just remember if you are piking, your goal is to try and keep the head between the hands. That is a challenge. Guys doing all really well. Okay, so we said in the stations, have a bit of a rest. When you're ready, you can go in your own time now. You can start it off whenever you're ready, okay? I'll give this two minutes, which is... What's up, Lindsay? I can't hear you yet. Oh, so are they keeping or strict? Strict. Strict has that. Yep, okay. Going all the way through max unbroken sets. Dallin and his daughter going for it as well. Okay. Nice push-ups, everyone. So you're going through keeping it tight. That's it all the way up. Nice, Charles. Nice, Jen. So strict, unbroken set. Big, big effort, yeah. That's it. Nice, girls. The top of the push-ups. We're getting the head through. Nice, Daryl. Tired shoulders. Remember, keep it hard. Keep that standing from the pike. As you get tired, stay in. You will want to drift out as you fatigue, so stay nice and tight. Lindsay, chilling at the top. Getting that rest in. We're going to end it in about 20 seconds. Nice, Chelsea. That's it, Jen. All the way down to the floor. Every time, make sure you are hitting the floor with their head, not just the ponytail. Great effort. We've got 10 seconds left. I don't know if Jen read the next bit because she's doing a massive set, which is fine. Just making it really tough. Don't worry, Jen. You're done. That's time. That's time. Remember your reps. Well done. Only reason I say that is because now you have to do 200% of what you just did. Okay, so times it by two, and that's what you're gonna be doing next up. However, you've got five minutes to do that in. Okay, so you've got five minutes to do that big set. I think my phone's unplugged. So five minutes, we'll go in about a minute or two. So shoulders pretty smoked. They give you plenty of time to recover. What you could go through is a little bit of wrist prep, so I'll take you through that now. So if I am in the wrist prep, just for your hands while we let those shoulders rest. Okay, you can bring your knees right under to so make it a bit easier. Go through a couple of just circles, shifting that weight far forward on the hands. So maybe five each way. If you've got maybe elbow pain, forearm pain, wrist prep is a really good little thing that you can do to help release it. Six, especially the next one. Hopefully your floor's not crazy hard. Eight, so if you've got a little bit of a jumper or something, nine and 10, use it. Because now we're gonna go on the back of the hands. Okay, so same thing, if that's tough, you can take your hands further back and make it a bit easier. When I'm holding that position, I want the creases of my elbows facing forward. So I screw my shoulders in, and then you're gonna go backwards and forwards. Yeah, just 10 times. Five, six, 
Three, rocking back. Nine, 10. And the last little piece is a little bit of, we call it eversion or ever, inversion, eversion, okay, or adduction. So we're moving the hand that lateral way on the wrists. So all it is, is I'm just on my fists, I'm pulling through, and then I'm going the other way, keeping my elbows as straight as possible. So I'm going on one side of the fists, so on the outside, on the inside of the fist, just rocking through that about 10 times. So getting that lateral flexion through the wrist itself, loading it slightly as you get comfortable. If it's not too bad, you can load it up a bit more by driving their shoulders forward. I think I'm at about seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, few little circles. So going up, a couple of wrist circles through. Going the other way as well. So remembering your numbers. I said six minutes, I think I was a bit generous. I'll say anywhere from about four minutes to work through in the next bit will be a four minute piece. So that's what you're going to do is a four minutes to get through 200% of what you did. So it might mean, okay, breaking it down into little sets. It might mean doing eight attempts, okay, just being consistent, but You've got four minutes to attempt what you've just done. Okay, so if you think maybe every 30 seconds is do a few, that's a good way to sort of get through that big set. Okay, so if you can times your number by two, we are gonna go in about 20 seconds. So I'm gonna keep that tight, especially on the pikes. It is easier to come out on the pikes so keep that tightness, keep that compression in five seconds. So in three, two, one. Okay, so you now you need twice the total number over those however sets, many sets you want to break it down to. So it's probably feeling a little bit more fatigued than when you first jumped on there. So be smart, stay away from that one point. Nice chest, keep it super tight at the bottom. Challenging that movement. So rest as you need. Okay, it's just been over a minute. Or coming up to that first minute now. So they're resting out. Keep that form, keep it nice and tight in those pikes, loads of compression, so you're working the abs. Good friend. Click. That's it. So same thing at 200%, working for that big number with some little sets, yeah? It's all about just getting some volume, keeping that quality, that's your main goal. It's quality in the reps. Strict handstands, nice Chelsea. Do suck a bit. Those wrists not used to bending. So it's a big thing with the handstands. I've, I do have it, and it's actually now the gym's channel, and I think it's, few down there's like a wrist prep drill it's some of these moves plus some extra moves that we've done it's going to help you if you do battle with wrist pain the hands on used to pressing to increase that strength nice chelsea so you're grabbing those rests as you need you've got two and a half minutes whoop, two and a half minutes left okay if you need to get it done Nice, Daryl. Make sure we're keeping a good range of movement there all the way down. Staying nice and tight. Night, Fran. We want to stay away from that failure point. We want to go quite, quite hard, but stay away from failure. Okay. It's amazing how much harder. Inside the last two minutes now, 200% is of what you just did. Okay.
Masjid. Nice fun, fun working world. Daryl's done, I think. Don't worry if you not take your time. I think Lindsay's finishing up. Poor Jen, who did all those push-ups at the beginning. Okay, <laughs> you've got this. Okay, let's go through it. Doing really well. Coming into the last minute, 20 seconds to get it done, girls. So pushing through. Just a couple at a time. Nice work, Lindsay, by the way, finishing and Daryl finishing up. Just break it down. Okay, one minute left on the clock. Franz finished up. Okay, nice Chelsea and Jen working through for that last 50 seconds. If you are done, you can enjoy that rest on the shoulders. That is going to be it for the handstand push So you will need Chelsea finishing up. Well done. Keep it up, Jen. I want you to finish for 40 seconds. You've got some work. If you are doing the next piece, you are going to have... Um, all you will need for this is an ab mat or a towel or something, maybe for the sit-ups. That's about it. 30 seconds on the clock. So big effort, Jen. Awesome work. 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Good effort. Jen's poor shoulders. Okay, however, there's a little bit of shoulders in this workout, but it's not actually much. It's just there to support yourself. So this is a Metcon. And we'll see through. Let me go really quickly. That's the workout. Okay, 25, 20. 15, 10, 5. Three movements, yeah? It's a 12-minute AMRAP. So, three movements. You've got sit-ups, air squats, mountain climbers. Yep. With the mountain climber, you only got to count one leg. Yeah, so say if you're doing 25 mountain climbers, maybe just count your right leg. Every time your right leg comes up, you can keep track. Okay, however, obviously you do 25 of each. 20 of each, 15 of each, 10 of each, five of each. If you get there before 12 minutes, work your way back up the ladder. So then you go back up to 10, up to 15, 20, maybe 25. Um, but you're seeing where you can get to in that 12 minute AMRAP. Okay, so write it down. So if you're here at home as well, and you're doing it later, um, yeah, we've got obviously a few people doing it now, so I will be cheering you guys on. 90 seconds. You guys ready at home? We started a little bit early, so I'm just gonna see where I've gotta to get to on my time. I'm just using a continual stopwatch, so we're going in 15 seconds, and we gotta take it down to 19 minutes on there. Okay, so I'm gonna start on 31. So you've got eight seconds. Good luck. Starting with the sit-ups. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's 25 in the first round. A lot of sit-ups today. 25 sit-ups. Moving through. People doing well. So sitting up all the way, good standards as well. So we want those shoulders past the crease of the hips. Everyone doing it, really good form. Let's remember those sets at the beginning are big. The air squat's kind of going to be like your rest in this workout, okay? So focus on your, getting your breath, resting the midline a little bit. Doing well. So remember, try and think about that breathing. Mountain climbers, really interesting little one on those hip flexes. Hamstrings as well, if you do them well, if you're getting some good compression. So everyone moving like lightning. The first two rounds, of course, are gonna take the longest by far. So, so you can kind of keep that comfort in knowing that those rounds are getting shorter. 
Okay, nice people. Getting that full hip extension at home, getting that depth and staying back on the heels, especially when we get tired. So just remember with the mountain climbers, if you are getting up to it, it's counting every second rep, yeah? Or every, only your one side. So only counting the right side, okay? Or just the left side. So it's 25, that first round moving through. Nice people. So it's keeping that weight forward, shoulders over. It's just going into two minutes. So two minutes has just gone by. So that's it. So tucking through. And nice people, people on those mountain climbers, sit-ups. So nice people using those arms in the sit-ups to help with. Breathing in the air squats. Nice Chelsea. All about that set of 20 now. That's where it's at. Great work, people. So just those squats is keeping the weight back. Really nice reps I'm seeing on some people doing squats now. Fran doesn't look like she's having any rest time between the movements. Going at a crazy pace. Awesome, people. Good work. That's your goal is keep moving through. So you can do it without stopping. Remember, it's a pretty long workout for these movements if you're going really quickly. Okay, so if you keep working through this ladder, if you get there and back, it's an AMRAP, you go all the way back down again. Okay, so I'll let you know when you're at four minutes. Losing track of people's rounds, however. Nice Lindsay and Fran, and an awesome squats, Chelsea. Okay, going through that nice tarot, going through, you've been going for over four minutes now. Okay, so past one third of that workout time-wise, everyone will be working for that full 12 minutes. That's it, keeping the weight over the hands. Nice people. Seeing a couple of rounds, a couple of people on climbers, trying to keep your bum down on the climbers as well. Okay, we'll make it harder, we'll make it tougher. People moving through rapidly. Okay, spending no time on those transitions. Let's go, Daryl, you got this. So going through, nice squats front. See how consistent you can be. That's the main goal today, okay? Especially as that midline fatigues in the, in the sit-ups, in the climbers, okay? A lot of midline in today's piece. Not to mention there will be a lot of midline tomorrow. That's so it, keeping the weight back. Okay, moving through, coming up to that halfway point. Trying to gauge where some people are at, make sure we're extending the hips. Nice work. Okay, so it's just coming up to six minutes. So that is halfway. So kind of gauging where you're at. And you kind of keep that tempo the same. Really nice people. So keep working through that. Keep the weight forward on those climbers. Nice, Jen. 
everyone's still moving really quick at home in terms of their transitions. You're doing well. Yeah, you're in the last half. Stomach might be tired. Okay, good form, Chelsea. That's it. Keeping those hips down low. Good effort. Nice, Fran. Moving through. Okay. Counting some reps of some people, sort of figuring out where they are in the workout. Getting to that last little part now. So good effort, people. You've got five minutes left. So big push now. Okay. Big push to just keep moving at the same speed you have been. This is the hardest part of the workout to try and keep that motivation to keep moving fast. Okay. Dig in for that. You have got this. Yeah. A little test coming at you right now is can you keep working at that same pace? Okay. No stopping through that. Okay, so quick transitions. No people are getting tired. So if we can keep that snappy straight from one to the next. Okay, going through those squats with that good form, keeping the weight back. That's it, Daryl. So quick changes, mate. You got this. Okay, let's go through. Counting those reps. Getting into the last third of the workout. Okay, time-wise. So you've done well, people. We're working for nearly eight minutes now. That's it. Using those arms down to help you up this midline getting cooked. Okay, you're in the last four minutes. Okay, legs cramping up a little bit, maybe in those climbers. Maybe it's the hamstrings, hip flexes. Okay, think about pulling your heels to your butt. Keeping hips low. Nice, Chelsea. Moving through, people. You've got two minutes, three minutes, 40 on the clock. So good effort. Last little push, yeah, three and a half minutes. That's all you need to work for. Stomach might be tired. So, Jen, if you'd got to the bottom, you've got to go all the way back up again, okay? So you've got to go back up. Good work getting to the bottom. But now you'd be on, once you've done the fives, you'd be back on those tens, okay? And working your way back up, okay? Mentally, that's the harder bit. However, bear in mind, there's only about three minutes of work left. You've been working, for nine minutes now. So you're in the last little push. Challenging now to keep it quick. There is the end is in sight. Okay, so no chance to slack off now in those last two and a bit minutes. Doing really well. You nice, Chelsea. Keep going, guys. That's it, Daryl. I know that something's cooked. Maybe use your arms a little bit. Think about pushing the feet down. Brian and Lindsay still moving rapidly. Okay, two and a half minutes left. That's all that's left on the clock. Two and a half minutes. Trying to count a few people's reps, see what sets they're up to now. I think most people are working their way back up or getting close to the end. Okay, good effort now, people. Last little bit. I keep saying that. I know it's getting shorter and shorter, less and less time. We've been working a long time now. Just about 10 minutes through. So 10 minutes through inside the last final two minutes. It goes down really quickly. So that's a good depth in the squats. And giving yourself a chance to breathe, resting at midline slightly. Okay, that's it, Fran. Keep moving, keep it quick, quick transitions. You are in the last just about 90 seconds. Okay, so it does go. My internet's dropping a bit. Okay, 90 seconds. Good work. Nice people. So keep moving to wherever you get to. Great efforts. This is just personal. It's about how well can you work compared to how you started. Can you finish strong? You've got one minute now. So strong finish. Try and keep that same pace. Okay, so moving through. 50 seconds. Last little bit. 
Okay, nice, Brian. Keep the transitions quick. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. Let's go, Chelsea. Last little bit. Big set. Some people I know all the way back up at the end. Twenty seconds. Okay, in ten. Really impressed with people's efforts today. Four seconds. Three, two. One, well done. Great work, amazing effort. You can unmute if you want to as well now. I'm gonna mute everyone. So yeah, it's unmute if I haven't. Well done. Morning, morning. All right, good work, how was that? Yeah, good. Yeah, people move rapidly. I was, honestly, I was really impressed with everyone there. Okay, so good work. We're going to cool down now. Okay, so quick little cool down. Obviously, midline absolutely fried from that. So we could do sort of a lot of stretching through the midline. Okay, so first thing, I'll go side on. I'll stay nice and low for these stretches. So side on, you're just going to get a nice long lunge out. Both hands on the ground. And then what you can do is come up a little bit and you go into what you call a dragon pose. So you use all that weight to drive the knee forward a little bit. Might get a further step forwards. Letting that weight drop down. <coughs> About 20 seconds. <laughs> On both sides. So roughly about 30 seconds on each side. In about 10 seconds. Okay, going on to the other side. The same thing, 30 second hold. Okay. One second left. See if we can shift that weight maybe slightly further forward, drop the hips down a little bit lower to the ground. 10 seconds. And coming out of that, you're gonna go onto the ground with your hands again. But this time it's a reverse puppy dog. So just a little chance for you to stretch through. You're gonna go on your toes, your knees are off the floor. Then you drop the hips down, squeezing the butt. So you should, the legs should be off the ground. Just moving through that. So feeling it and through the stomach, it's been working really hard right now. Just about 10 more seconds. Okay. Wait, spread it forward if you can. Three, two, and you can go onto the ground for now. And we're going to do that passively now, one more time. So you can either go on your forearms, what you call a sphinx. Okay, there. Or you can keep your glutes tight. Go into a seal pose, it's driving the arms up. Straight, so now legs are resting on the ground. It's about 10 seconds or so, or not 20, 10, 20 more seconds. It's about a 30 second hold again. I might get my hands under more. I'm getting a bit more height in that stretch. The glutes, abs, that midline stretching through. 10 more seconds. Okay, and then last little bit, you're going to go onto your knees now, onto your haunches. And from there, you're just going into a saddle. So you're just rocking back. Now in that saddle hold, or stretch, with the hips low, this will be a long, longer hold, about at least a minute. What you can then do is take some time to drive the hips up off the heels. So you're really pushing the hips up, a little bit more through the quads. Give it about 10 seconds. So about five more seconds, four, 
And then from there, you can drop back down, back back onto the heel, sit down if you are comfortable, going a little bit low in that stretch as well. Okay. But then the same thing, we'll go now, you push up again through the hips. 10 more seconds. No. And then dropping back down again. Okay, and then going back through. The last bit of high. Okay, and then we just get an end coming forward, just in a simple child's pose. So you're just rocking back. Give me a 10 seconds. Okay, well done. That is it. Good work, people. Lots of you becoming regulars at this time on Zoom, so hopefully it's, it transfers back in the gym. I know most of you were in early anyway. Okay, awesome having you people. Great efforts. See you tomorrow, Friday. Is it Friday tomorrow? Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. yeah. Is it Friday? Monday. Yeah, I'm looking at my ball. I always get confused because I write the workout the next day, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm looking at the ball the same Thursday. So it's normally always one day ahead, but I've got to still do that. Okay, people, great work, good effort. See you tomorrow for Friday. It's going to be a bit more midline. Okay, awesome effort. Well done. Thanks, Nick. Have a good day. Okay, you Cheers, Nick. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Thanks, everyone.